is uh, the nail is provided. It's a three and a half inch galvanized nail, smooth shank with the head cut off in case you ever lose it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap it into the hole. If you uh, bought a stick that was uh, we have here at the museum and you're gonna line it up with the uh, hole in the bottom of the seagull and put it on. And long as there's enough clearance, at least about a, a three quarters of an inch to an inch clearance from the bottom of the post so it doesn't uh, chafe. And we also need uh, at least an inch and a quarter post in width, any wider than that, and the wings will hit it and chafe off the paint on the wings. So now you're ready to enjoy your whirly gig. Now, <clears throat> here we are with the four boat wing, and the same thing. We got to make sure that we have enough clearance between the base and the and the wooden platform. So we're going to stick that on there, and you should have about a three quarters of an inch to an inch for it to spin around in the wind. And it looks like it's going to spin good. So every now and again, uh, it would be a good idea to put a little drop of oil in the uh, uh, pivot in the hole of the whirly gigs, no matter what kind of a whirly gig it is.